So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10 Do not fear any longer. Do not worry. Do not let your anxiety get to you. You have too many fears. Let go of those fears. Talk to your father. Let him carry those fears. Let him carry those worries. Let go and be free. For God does not give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and of sound mind and joy. God told me to tell you this today. Stop worrying. Let go of your fear. Do not doubt the plans that God has for your life. Do not let your past cripple you. Let go of your past. Run away from your past. Don't let fear decide your future. I understand that you have understand that your heart has been broken over and over again, but God, but God wants to give you a brand new heart. God wants to bring you the love of your life, but you got to let God in. you got to let go of all those fears and say, God, I'm going to allow you to bring the love of my life. I'm going to let you Jesus. Only Jesus can heal your heart, and your heart needs to be healed before God can bring that one to you. God wants to take you to another level. God wants to get you a new job with a higher pay, a new career. God wants you to be an entrepreneur, but your fears, your doubts are letting that get in the way of God's promise for your life. God wants you to go on a new path. God wants you to start a new way. God wants to remove all the poverty away from your family. Through you, God wants you to be the first to graduate from college. God wants you to be the first to have your own business. God wants you to be the first to have your own successful business. Maybe your family members have tried before, but God wants you to be the successful one. God knows that you can handle this. God knows that you can handle all that comes with this new path in life. God chose you. God called you. God is calling you to let go of the fears. Let him in. Let go of your fears. Let go of your insecurities. Let go of your doubts. You are a child of God. You were created for a reason and a purpose. And you are here in this season because God chose you. He called you for a time such as this. Songs chapter 56 verse 3 says, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Put your hands up and say, God, I surrender. God, I put my trust in you. Stop giving up. God is trying to manifest a dream within you. God is trying to break generational curses through you. Maybe God wants you to have that relationship that people can look up to. No more divorces through you. No more toxic relationships through you. But you gotta let go. You gotta let go of that fear. I know that you've 
have been told that you would amount to nothing, but they are wrong. God has the first and last say. God has all the say. God chose you. You are a child of God. God said, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So do not fear this new path in life. You deserve peace. You deserve joy. You deserve happiness. And all of that comes through God. All of that comes through Jesus Christ. Take it day by day. Walk side by side. Jesus and let him lead you every step of the way. It says in the Bible, therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Matthew chapter 6 verse 30. So do not worry about tomorrow, only concentrate on today. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. You can accomplish anything through Jesus Christ. Just let him lead you. Let him lead your life. God says, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than birds? God values you. You are his ultimate creation. Jesus loves you so much. God loves you so much. If he can take care of the birds, what do you think he is going to do for you if you let him? God gave us free will, so you have to let him in. God is only going to knock on the door, but so long. You have to open the door. You have to let him in. Let God into your life. Let go of those fears. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 13 through 14 says, For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. He is your redeemer. So do not be afraid. Do not ever be afraid. Do not ever fear. God planned every single moment of your life up to the very second. He placed you in that family for a reason. He let you go through that relationship for a reason. He has you at this job for a reason. But now it's time to move on. It's time to lift up into higher realms so that God can bless you abundantly. But you have to let go of the fear. Let go of the doubts. what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. I feel that God's ultimate gift to us is inner peace. When I chose to surrender my life to God, finally give up control and let Him control my never had so much peace, so much joy in my heart.
because of God's grace, because of God's mercy. I know that I do not have to worry because my Father has it all taken care of. My Father loves me. He is my ultimate provider, my ultimate healer, my ultimate protector. He loves me and He loves you. He loves you so much. Let Him take care of you. I used to have fears about when I was going to graduate from school. I used to have fears about people hurting me in relationships. I had a fear of being an entrepreneur. I thought, God, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm capable of this. But God's strength pulls me through to accomplish whatever I need to accomplish for Him. He gives me the strength. He is the leader of my life. He walks along with me on this path, on this journey called life. Just talk to your Father. Just say, God, I worry so much. I have so much fear, and I want to let that burden go. Please take it all away from me. You take control of my life. You lead my life. I surrender to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let go and let God.